So you may remember a few days ago we told you about Edmonia Lewis, a forgotten black artist who had just gotten her own U.S. postage stamp. Local columnist and author John Rice has a unique connection to Edmonia and her Cleopatra sculpture. He joins us now with more. Thank you so much for coming here. Yes, it's a pleasure. It, this is such a fascinating story. I feel like so many people don't know about her and her work. Too many. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When did you get hooked in, uh, on board with this? Uh, back in 1992, uh, I write for the Forest Park Review newspaper in Forest Park, and I was assigned to do a story about uh, Edmonia Lewis and her statue, The Death of Cleopatra, which was in Forest Park for over 70 years. So I went to see um, the head of the Historical Society had the statue, and uh, I started researching back then. All right, so the story is very interesting. So she had come to this country because she was living in Rome. She had come to this country and she was ex uh, exhibiting it at the World Exposition in Philadelphia, correct? That is correct. In 18... Well, it's a, it's a hundred years after the uh, founding of the United States. Uh, oh, God, math. So 1876. 1876, okay, okay. Yeah. And then she, it brought it here to Chicago. Yeah, she tried to sell it in Philadelphia and it wouldn't sell, so she brought it here to Chicago. And uh, she couldn't find anyone to buy it, and the Art, Art Institute would not take it. So it ended up in a warehouse in Chicago. And from there, it went to a bar on the south side of Chicago called The Mitre on Clark Street. And then it came out to Forest Park. Um, it was used as a grave marker for a horse named Cleopatra, oh, uh, yeah. who used to run at the Harlem Racetrack in Forest Park. So it stood outside for over 70 years. Wow. And uh, Carrara Marble is never supposed to be outside. And for people who don't know, we've seen pictures of it. It's just like 3,000 pounds, right? Oh, it's yes. a massive it stul is. sculpture. Huge. Yeah. And that's one reason it wasn't selling. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was so huge. But it was also very provocative, too. Yes, it was. Uh, it was a very graphic depiction of death, and it had some partial nudity, uh, which was okay in Europe, but not okay here. Mm -hmm. And so that's literally why people would not uh, buy the statue. So your writings were instrumental in getting this to the Smithsonian. Yes, what happened was I interviewed the uh, head of the Historical Society, uh, Dr. Frank Orland, and I asked him what he was going to do with the statue, and he said he was going to paint it with oil-based paint. Ooh. And I don't know much about marble, but I know you're not supposed to paint it. So I called the Smithsonian immediately, and I said, we have the death of Cleopatra here, and someone's going to paint it. You need to get out here right away. So they sent out uh, a curator and a restorationist right away, and they negotiated with Dr. Orlin to uh, get the statue for the Smithsonian. So, Which is where it sits today. Yes. Uh, yes, I feel good about that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm a character in my own book. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yes, uh, and my wife and I made a special trip to Washington just to see the statue because I had never seen it. Uh, Dr. Orlin wouldn't let anyone see it. Oh, so what did you see? What did you think when you saw it? I thought she's been through a lot. Yeah. Um, but I was so proud that she was there. And she's on a pedestal, and uh, there's a plaque that says, a gift from the H Historical Society of Forest Park. So I felt very good about that. Oh my I mean, if you had not done this, it would have never made it to the Smithsonian. It would have never been refurbished. Then the stamp and Edmonia Lewis would really not be introduced to a lot of people. I'm not taking credit for the stamp, but, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> but, but, but I have been trying to get the word out about her for over 30 years because I think her story is so inspiring, and uh, that's why we wrote a book, uh, the Ghost, the Ghost of, of Cleopatra. So, uh, in the book, I pretend I'm the statue, which is pretty unusual, and I pretend I'm Cleopatra, and my co-author Gail Tanzer pretends that she's Edmonia. So um, that's our way of trying to tell the story. We want to inspire young people, uh, to, especially young women of color, to overcome the circumstances and to rise above it. And that's what Edmonia did. Yeah, yeah because she was born in New York. Correct. And um, was in Ohio for a while studying art. She was at Oberlin College in Ohio. Yeah, and she faced racism. I think oh. she was almost killed. Yes, yeah, she was. She was almost beaten to death. Uh, both her legs were broken, uh, and she was left in the snow to die. 
and we wouldn't have a stamp if people hadn't found her. And that beautiful yeah. art that she left behind, yes, too. Yes, exactly. She hadn't even done any sculpting yeah. yet. Yeah, um, so she left this country because she couldn't take it anymore, and she went to Europe. Yes, yeah, she went to Rome, and she joined a colony of uh, uh, American female artists uh, that lived there, and she started uh, creating masterpieces. And uh, she had, she did Native American statues, she did uh, African American statues, and she did statues of women. And, her, and this was, the death of Cleopatra was her masterpiece. And uh, it, rep it represented uh, uh, an African queen who was betrayed by powerful men. Mm -hmm. The way she felt she was betrayed at Oberlin. Yeah, yeah. So. A lot of symmetry in and her art. Yeah, yeah. It's such All a there. fascinating story. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you coming in and sharing the really story. I really enjoyed and it. And yeah. We should let everybody know. John called me after that show and said, "Hey, I did some research on her and I've written a book on her." And I said, "Come on over to the show." So thank you. I appreciate Thanks you for, for accepting phone call. our. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you for accepting our invitation. Journalists doing good things. Thank you. Good to see. Right. Thank you so much.